Hello everyone, Andy here. Hope you're well, hope you're having a good day. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your footage looking so much better for very little effort. So if that's something that interests you, then you're gonna to wanna to watch the rest of this video. So what I'm gonna show you is for very little effort, it could take seconds of your time. You could get your footage from looking, you know, quite dull, desaturated, not a lot of sort of highlights and shadows, the color grading um, could all look a bit out. Um, and instead of messing with everything, all the exposures, the saturation, the colour grading, the colour tone, etc, vignettes, you don't actually need all that for very little effort. You can actually get really, really good looking footage. It can look pretty cinematic, um, very film look. And this is something I do with quite a lot of my videos, especially the last kind of 10 or 20, I have been using these filters. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so for this tutorial, I am using Final Cut Pro on my Mac. Um, and what you wanna do is go to your installed effects. And the two that we're gonna be looking at here is the Super 8 and the Teal on Orange. Funnily enough, two that I like to use um, are actually sat next to each other. What I've done is I've got three sort of very different scenes that we can have a look at. We've got an urban scene, we've got a kind of countryfied scene, and then we've got me slash a person kind of talking scene. Um, what I will do is I'll start off with the urban one. Now, footage is very, very cool, but it looks a little bit dull, not a lot of colour. All you're going to want to do is drag the teal and orange over to it, and straight away you can see, whoa, it's a little bit too much. Maybe you like that? Perfectly fine. But with just a few more seconds, you can get the sort of desired look you're after, and um, for that cinematic look, by just tweaking all of these now obviously that reduces it that increases it the amount is not too bad but i'll just drop it a little bit let's look at the shading now you might actually want this it's a very dark sort of kind of high contrast look or you might want it a bit more sort of foggy i actually like the shading to be a little bit paler because you do notice that in a lot of sort of cinematic films and um, protect highlights so this is white and that's protecting it, but actually what I wanna do is I wanna up that and it just cools it down a little bit. So I want this kind of to have a very cool look. Protect skin, well there isn't really much sort of red slash orange in this scene, so we don't really need to worry about that. So let me just let that render. Okay, so now it's finished rendering. You can see what it looks like once it's finished. And if I just untick that teal and orange and put it back on again, you can see that difference with very little effort. It gives it that more cinematic look that you see in a lot of films. So that's the urban one done. Now let's have a look at the country scene. For this one, I use Super 8. So whenever it's a warm looking scene, that now straight away, <laughs> I've just dragged that in. And you know what? Pretty much happy with that as it sits. But just like with the teal and orange, if you come up here, you can actually tweak. Now that adds some grain. It gives it that kind of slightly more sort of older look. You can see it all in this kind of pale area, the, the noise, I suppose it is. I don't like that. Now I don't sometimes like to get rid of it totally. I actually like a little bit. I can put it about there. Now you can change the hue. So as you can see, you can go for the cooler looks or you can go for the kind of greeny kind of brown tones. But I like to keep it where it is. Now the amount is very similar, just like with the teal and orange, you can say how much of this filter that you want. Now if you have it on full, you actually get the vignettes and closing in on the edges, which is very, very cool, but it does make it a little bit too OTT. But you know where it came out of the box, just straight away in there. I'm really happy with that look. I'll just let that render. Okay, so that's finished rendering. So just to have a little look at the scene, Look at that, how cool that looks now. That does look like it's worthy of something in a film. If I just tick and untick this, you'll see the difference. That is such a, such a difference. It looks really, really nice. I love the warm tones. It does give that sort of cinematic film look to the scene. And I've not had to do any adjusting of my own exposures you know, shadows and highlights, I've not had to do colour, saturation, nothing. I've literally put Super 8 on there and not really adjusted anything. So within seconds, that is how good you can make your footage look. Now onto just one more scene, I thought just to show you what it's like also um, with a person. Again, I would probably go with the warm tones. I'm just gonna drag it in and straight away, I've not even edited but you can just see straight away the subject myself looks so much better uh, not so much um, with that facial expression 
Um, but even like the trees, you know, there's a nice warmer tone to um, my sort of face. Uh, the hair looks better, the trees. If I just tick and untick that, you can sort of see this looked a little bit, a little bit washed out. Um, the shadows, everything looked a bit flat. The colors are a little bit dull. Just adding that with no change whatsoever looks so much better. So just looking back through them, you've got the kind of urban look which I've used the teal and orange, ticking and ticking that looks vastly better. We've got the country scene with the Super 8, again, looking vastly better. Okay everyone, so that's it. It just shows you how very little effort you can get some pretty good looking footage. Now if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and click that bell icon to keep up to date with all future videos. Really appreciate any comments as well, so uh, pop a comment below, maybe you can let me know, um, let me or sh sh send me some links um, so I can actually have a look at some of the footage once you've edited it. As always, thank you everyone for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Bye!